Hi, I'm Nick Natarella with AdWise Creative. Very common question. Can you start a podcast without a following? If you're a business owner and you want to start a podcast for your company, for your business, what would be the point if you don't have a following? How do you turn listeners into clients when there are no listeners? Well, we're going to cover that in just a second. By the end of this video, you're going to know how to get started, how to get your audience going a lot faster than most of the gurus will tell you, and how to set up your business podcast for success and turn listeners into clients. Let's get started. Now, love him or hate him, Joe Rogan is probably the most popular guy in podcast history up to this point. Of course, Howard Stern would probably argue with you on that, but suffice it to say, Joe Rogan has got the podcast world on its ear, no pun intended, but he's got thousands, if not millions of listeners, millions of downloads. He's the highest paid podcaster right now and probably the most listened to podcast on the planet. So how did he get there? Well, he started with zero. He started with zero. Back in the eighties, if you can believe it, he was a stand-up comedian. I don't know what kind of success he had, but he's obviously not doing it today. For years, he was on MTV, hosted a show on MTV. And for about five years, he was the host of Fear Factor. And a lot of people know him as a UFC commentator. He's done that for years, every once in a while. He still does a fight or two from time to time, but he's obviously most known for his podcast right now. Now remember, each one of those was a stepping stone. He was building his audience, his, his brand. He was building the world's awareness of him every step of the way. But when he started, nobody was listening. Well, maybe his mother. But other than that, he started at zero. Everybody starts at zero. The good news about that is, number one, you can make all the mistakes you want right now because nobody is listening. But you also need to realize that there's a mind shift that needs to happen. You're probably going to edit out any mistakes. So there won't be any mistakes for anyone to hear. And once you wrap your head around that, that's going to be the most freeing thing in the world to just step up in front of the microphone and start talking. So basically the short answer is yes, absolutely. You can start a podcast without a following. But the cool thing about starting a business podcast is you do have access to build your audience faster. And this is what I'm talking about. Now there's a lot to setting up either a podcast or a, a, a YouTube channel or getting your, your old blog page resuscitated and, and back to life. There's a whole bunch of that stuff. And I'm going to be covering a lot of that on this channel. If you like this one, like it, subscribe, subscribe, and be sure to ding the little bell. So you get notifications when those other videos come out, because we're going to be covering all of this in the future. So the first thing you need to do is set the foundation for your podcast. What is it going to do? Let me answer that for you. You're going to teach. Whatever it is that you do, whatever business you're in or service or service you provide or products, you need to teach. And I mean teach to the nth degree. Don't hold back. You got a secret sauce? Teach the secret sauce. It's only going to help you in the long run. And people are going to want that secret sauce, not as a little bit of magic, but as something tangible that they can gravitate towards when they want to hire you to do for them whatever it is that you do. So don't hold back in your teaching. Teach everything. There are times when you're going to cover specific services or specific products or something like that. That's fine. That's what perpetuates the growth because people are going to be asking about this and people are going to want to know about it. There are people out there who are actually going to Google right now, or maybe even YouTube and asking specific questions about what your business does, not just your business specifically, but your business in general. If they want to know about 401ks or if they want to know about uh, squats, the proper technique for squats, or, you know, if you're a coach, if you're some type of a personal coach or a uh, life coach, how to create me time in a chaotic day or something like that. What are those questions that people are asking? That's, those are the topics that you're going to cover. And if you match them exactly to what people are asking in Google or YouTube, if you match them up word for word and give them your answer, you'll be the one popping up in their search results. And again, I can't stress this enough. You need to take the approach, the teaching depth. And I'm not saying like, take an hour and a half video to do this. But whenever you teach a nugget, 
teach it completely as if someone, as if the person watching is going to start their own business or take your own job, whatever the case may be. You need to not hold back. Viewers and listeners can sense it immediately. If you're holding back, they know you're holding back. If you're trying to play the cards tight to the, tight to the vest, you're going to lose them. And it's that honesty and openness and candidness, quite frankly, that's going to win the day. Don't hold back, teach it all. Another way to find out the, the questions that your customers are asking, a friend of mine, Nate Woodbury, has got this thing called the leaf technique. And what you do is you take your tree trunk of knowledge, you got a whole bunch of branches that you can talk about, but at the very end are leaves that are specific questions that people are asking. There's a program you can use called SEM Rush or SEM Rush. Uh, get in there and type in, say something really vague, like um, personal trainer. That's something you wanna be found for if you're a personal trainer. Then it's going to start to list a whole bunch of topics and especially there's a button actually called questions. Click on that questions button. And you're gonna see the questions that people are specifically asking about personal trainers. Well, if you can answer those questions in your own words, you're gonna have a different answer from the next personal trainer, but give us your answer. But that's the title of your podcast episode your answer immediately matches their question and you'll be the one to show up in the search results. It's very simple. It's a very simple technique. Now, it does take a little while to gain momentum, so be patient with that. Keep producing content, keep answering those questions, but you will eventually start to show up again and again and again and again. And Google and YouTube and all the other search engines out there, yes, YouTube is a search engine, whether you, whether you know that or not. They're the number two search engine owned by Google. Hmm. When you start showing up all over the place and they start seeing that, those search engines start taking you seriously and start to show you a little search engine love. It works great. Now, one of the big things that you can do to connect with your listeners, and I've got a special download for you. It's a free download called Engaging Your Audience, the three secrets to skyrocketing your podcast success. What you're doing is you're connecting with your audience in a way that turns them from raving fan, from listeners into raving fans and raving fans into paying customers. Get this download. It's absolutely free for you just for sticking around this long. Click down below and get your copy right now. It'll change your perspective on your podcast. I guarantee it. Thank you for watching. I hope this was valuable to you. I'm Nick Natarella.